Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today is a new bike day. I'm on the way to pick up another e-bike. You might be wondering, what happened to the Kinevo? What happened to the Levo? Why are you buying another e-bike? We're gonna get to all of them questions. But before we get into it, I want there to be some good riding in this video. Chilled session, and yeah, I'll send you back over here when we are ready to discuss e-bike matters and get involved. We have pulled up at the location. The 7R is slammed on air, on its arse, looking absolutely beautiful. We are on the Bronson CC Santa Cruz Enduro Slayer. I wanted to remind you guys, we've got a crazy deal on owner right now. You get a free snapback cap with every single order. So if you're ordering a jersey, a t-shirt, a hoodie, a sticker pack, a wallet, whatever you're ordering, add your favorite snapback and you'll get it for free with every single order. Link is in the description. I'm gonna come off this. I'm gonna blast into the bank a few times. On the camcorder, you should be able to follow me to this hip after it as well. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. Nothing crazy. First couple of hits of the day on the Bronson CC. Why wouldn't we? So, basically, we are 41 minutes away from the location where the new e-bike, the new Ebe is located. So, you're patiently waiting and you're definitely wondering what e-bike I'm going to buy. <laughs> Every time I try and film, something goes off the sat nav of my phone. I'm on the way to buy a Levo. I'm getting a medium 27.5. I think it's a generation one turbo Levo. Now, you might be wondering, why wouldn't he go for a new Levo? I don't want a 29er, I want a 27.5. I'm a 27.5 guy at heart. Really, really am. And I want a 27.5. Because they're not brand new, they're super affordable. So for an e-bike, I'm getting it £2,900, which is super affordable. Um, it's pretty much one of the cheapest on eBay. That's what I'm on the way to look at. I would say to buy, but I don't know the condition yet. It's a 2018. It's a size medium, which is what I want now. We've got the motor home. We're getting out riding loads of places. A little spark in my head landed in my head when I was at Black Mountains and I was like, I wish I had me bike. And as soon as I had that thought in my head, I knew that I was going to end up coming and getting another e-bike. So, I sold all the e-bikes and now I'm getting another one. I'm hyped. I'm hyped for it. Size medium, 27.5, generation one, specialised Levo Turbo. It's going to be insane. And it's carbon as well. So, any upgrades, let me know in the comments. Any ideas, any ride locations where I can camp out in the motorhome, wake up and have a session, get involved in the comments. It's going to be absolutely sick. So I'll tune back in when I'm closer to the location and I will show you the bike. And I'm going to get Gaz to start riding with me. Now that I'll have two mountain bikes and Gaz is filming for me again, I'm going to get Gaz to ride with me. So if you want to see that, get involved in the comments below. Where should we get him riding for the first time? Some sort of trail centre location. Let's go. Basically, this is the new E. So, do you know what? We're going to get it in the car. We're going to get out of here. And we're going to show you this in the garage at home. There's no reason for us to do this right now, right here. But it's done. The new Levo. I'm going to do some upgrades to it straight away. There's a few things I've got my eye on. 
that I'm going to do in this video. And hopefully this time tomorrow when you're watching this video, I'm out shredding on the new E. This is definitely the best e-bike I've had. It's like a Kinevo with smaller travel. That's the easiest way of putting it. Yo, I am home. I am in the garage. That new beast is here to join the other collection. Before I go any further in today's video, I wanted to make a statement. I personally think best bang for buck, if you're like me and you pay for your bikes, I don't get any of my current rides for free. I've paid for every single one of these, other than my BMX. I got that when I was, you know, killing the BMX game. But all my bikes, I paid four and a half K for the Bronson CC, second hand as well, it's pretty savage. I paid two and a half G for the Trials bike at the back. I paid one, two, five, zero for the jump bike. And today, today I've paid 3K for this bad boy. 2,900 quid, 100 pound less than three grand. Listen, when I tell you this, these e-bikes are the best bang for buck you can get. They're the best e-bikes on the market. My reasoning in that is for the price point, for the travel size, playfulness, 27.5 wheels, which is absolutely sick in plus size. With the weight of an e-bike, a 27 plus, 27.5 fat tires with the weight of an e-bike is like dream spec. Now, you're probably wondering, what makes the difference between a Levo and a Kinevo? If you've been following this channel for long enough, you'll know I had a Kinevo. Kinevos are big, they're like 180, 200 mil travel, which is sick. However, I was always quite scared of crashing on really steep stuff with the weight of an e-bike. So the aim of the game with the Levo 27.5 plus size wheels is to slay trail centers. So it's more of a trail e-bike for me. I'll probably ride some steep stuff. I'll probably fly down some crazy gnarly tracks. But what I want to do is I want to blast it through some sick trail centers. Stuff that's not that steep, but it's nice and flowy and fast. You've got berms, you've got jumps, you've got drops. To me, these Levos, put it this way, if you're watching this channel and you're wondering, I might look at e-bikes, I might get my own e-bike. Get on a Generation 1 Turbo Levo. They're sick. They're so good. The minute I got into the e-bikes, I wish I'd have got one instead of a Kinevo. Then when I got a Levo, we sort of bought it for my fiance. So we went for a size small with 29er wheels. Didn't quite feel as good as I wanted any e-bike to feel. This thing is insane. I've sat on it, I've rode it, I've wheelied it, I've done all kinds on it. And I'm telling you now, they're absolutely mental. I'm going to show you this thing. I'm going to show you where we're at. We've got a lot of upgrades to do in this current video. You will know I ride for ODI grips. So I've got to get these grips off and I've got to get some ODI grips on. Secondly, I'm going to change out the stem. So ignore the stem on the clips. And thirdly, I'm going to switch the brakes. I run my brakes back on the right, not front on the right. So I've got to switch the brakes round. So we've got some work to do, but my God, these things are sick. Thing. Number one, what we're going to start with is the frame size. The frame size is a medium and it's like a sort of slick finish which goes quite nicely with some of our new stickers that we're doing on owner which I'm going to be putting on today somewhere here. Frame size, medium, carbon front end, alloy rear end, absolutely beautiful. Carbon comp beast. It's got the same battery as the Kinevo got the same engine slash motor as the Kinevo so as you can see it looks fire in the booth the frame it's literally literally got barely any scratches on it it's got one little chip out here it's got one little chip out here a couple of little scratches here and I would go as far as saying that is about it I can't stress how crazy these bikes are medium Levos in a 27.5. These one day are gonna be like, they're gonna be like Mark One Golfs. They're sick. They're playful, they're small, they're tight. Trail centers at speed. 
the absolutely sick the chunky plus size 27.5 inch wheels is enough for me you'll know me chameleon build um can evo build what else have i built plus size on nuke proof mega i built plus size on i'm excited to find out how this matches up against the can evo that's what i'm excited to try that's going to be the interesting test in this period but yeah i'm hoping i'm going to keep hold of this you know i'm in and out of bikes i'm in and out of stuff in and out of cars until I got the 7R and the 7R is here to stay. It's been approximately 12 months since I bought it and it's going absolutely nowhere. I'm hoping for the same thing for this. Already saying the same thing for the Santa Cruz Bronson CC, the jump bike staying. So yeah, you know how it is. Some stuff stays now, some stuff goes. It's just how it works. So yeah, moving on to the spec. 150 mil travel on the front, 150 mil travel on the rear. Absolutely sick. I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's a super deluxe rear shock. Um, stem is terrible. I'm going to be swapping this stem out. Interestingly, I might have a stem kicking about in here today. Grips are coming off. ODI grips are going on. But we have Guide RS brakes, which are the standard Levo and Camivo brakes, I'm pretty sure. Okay, it has had a couple of upgrades. The Hope chainring and these pedals which i've never actually seen before but they seem pretty good actually i may actually look into these pedals ztt god knows but they're here to stay they're here to stay it's got the standard tires on butcher grid tires on the roval wheel sets and that goes to show this bike has not had a tough life at all so yeah as a content creator quite a lot of people message me and say get one of the new santa cruz bronson cc's they're like 10 grand or something eight grand for a bike it's bonkers i could do so many mods to the car for that price so for me i always look for something that's used at this point like i bought me santa cruz bronson cc probably like a nine grand build and i got it half price um this thing's probably like a five and a half six grand bike and i got it for Oh, maybe this is more actually because it's got a carbon front end on it. I don't know how much this thing would be. Maybe if you've bought one, you could let me know. However, I got it for 3k, which is sick second hand. And it's in banging condition. I'm hyped on it. And we're going to get Gaz into the mountain biking. You've got me word. The next video you guys see. The next video after the next video, because I'm going to go away in the motorhome. On the E and shred it. The next video you see after that, me and Gaz are going to go out and ride. We're going to go trail centre. I'm going to set him up with some downhill pants, shoes, helmet, more gear, and it's going to be sick. So, that's where we're at. The E is in the house. The Levo 27.5 Gem 1 classic machine is in. And we're done. So, yeah, I'm going to do some mods. Let's go. All right, so, first upgrade of the day, ODI, long necks, beasts. These make an e-bike feel fresh as so. I'm going to get rid of these grips that come on the used second-hand bike. Double clamp, bad boys. Coming straight off. Peace out. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's go. Sick this bike. This is a steel, this bike. What a beast. Get these grips on. Long necks, you've got to have the long necks on. That's that easy. The long necks are on, check them out. Well better, looking sick now already, straight up. Mod number one, done. Now, this is the front brake. As you can see, this cable here goes all the way. I'm gonna take this out, and the good thing about these brakes is they're like flip, they're like flip brakes, so you can have them, as you can see, their logos on the back still. So you can actually just switch them. The clamp stays where it is, the lever comes out, switches to that side. Happy days, so that's mod number two. We're gonna switch these brakes around. I'm gonna save myself the pain of searching the floor. This is my clamp. Like, how does it go? Like that. Yep. 
yeah like that rear brake on there instead of the front brake nice so the long necks are on the levers are switched now all we've got to do is sort this stem out this is like a standard complete bike stem and it is not for me i think i've got a hope um top cap as well kicking about so we're going to do a top cap and a new stem i've actually i've actually dug this stem out it was in one of my drawers and basically it's a Bergtech Mark II purple stem, which I actually think will go great with all this other purple stuff that we've got on the bike. So why not? Go go well with the with the um, with the theme. It'll shorten that reach up a tiny bit, which is great on a medium for me. Okay, the last mod was an utter failure. Some of you may have seen it a long time before I seen it. That was ridiculous. I thought the bars would have been 35 mil, but I think they're 31.8, which means, which means the Bergtech stem doesn't actually fit the bars, which means I'm not gonna take these off right now. I'm gonna leave the stem on and I'm gonna get myself a set of 35 mil rise bars in the morning. Because I don't really want that them bars. I don't want to ride with that stem. I don't trust it at all. I don't like it. I'd rather upgrade the bars right now straight out the gate. I don't, however, have any spare bars because on the other bikes that I've sold, my bars have been there. Look at the Frenchies. <laughs> Chilling. But yeah, these are 35mm bars and a 35mm stem. 31.8, 31.8. Thirty-one point eight and thirty-five mil doesn't work together, as you can see. Rattles its head off. So, yeah, basically, stay tuned. Stay tuned for the rest of that mod. I'm probably going to get a set of bars on the way somewhere tomorrow, and then install the bars when I get there. And it'll probably be in one of the next videos. I'm actually not too annoyed about the bars because I did want higher rise bars anyway. They're actually probably like straight. And I want something with like a 35, I might even try Bergtech's new 55 mil rise bars, that would be sick. Although it maybe would make me Bronson not feel the best, so maybe I'll go the same as the Bronson. Then I don't have to buy two sets of bars. But yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm going to end the video there. I reckon it's sick. You've seen the E, you know where we're at. You know we're going riding. The next video you watch will be me slaying the new Levo 27.5 Turbo E-Machine. The video after that will be me on the Bronson CC, guys with the cameras on this one. And we'll hopefully get some clips of each other, which is going to be sick. It's going to be a good time. And you'll see the new bars in the next video as well. So, there you go. That's going to be the end. Hope you've enjoyed. Make sure you go and check out Owner. We've got brand new hot pink jerseys online right now. You've seen me riding a Farmer John's in one of our new jerseys. And don't forget, you get a free snapback cap with every single order. So if you're ordering one of our new hot pink jerseys, add your free snapback cap. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.